Hey Jennifer, this is Donnie of the Marketing Twins. I'm going to do this little short tutorial on what happens if you go to put an image in to your page and it's too tall. Um, for instance, when we go to a gourmet page now, all of the images are pretty much standard height. Um, that's the way we we created them and we created most of these to start with. And even when we've added ones like key lime pie, the images are always the same width. Um, what we, you can see from previous ones where we've set it up as 105 for these little thumbnails. If the picture you put in is 100, you put it in as 105 with an 84 height, 105 wide and 84 height. And when you do that, if the picture looks very distorted, because if you have a taller picture than maybe what you see here, it could be that the picture is much more distorted looking. And here's what you need to do to fix that. This is where, again, you're going to learn a little bit about HTML code, but uh, this allows you to, to know how to do it, and you can tell your friends about it. So what you want to do is go to your, in this case, let's say it's the gourmet page. All right, so we've clicked on the visual tab. You can see where we're at. But I want you to click on the HTML tab and scroll down to the very bottom. You kind of have to move your browsers around, my little sliders and stuff, and get to the very bottom of the page because that's where the newest ones are. And here's our key lime pie that we just set up in another tutorial. And this is what we've copied there. Now, Right here, you can see that we have this alt text. We have the width and the height. Now, we had set it up to be 105.84. If, like I said, if the height is too, if it's distorted looking, you could simply try to play around with some numbers, but the best thing to do is simply to remove the height. And so what we would do is simply take this out, You probably want to leave one space between this little space here between the quotation marks around 105. We want to make sure that those quotation marks are there. Have a space, and then you want to have this little slash and then a bracket that closes it. So all you're doing is simply removing the height. And by doing so, you, when you update your page um, after it finishes loading, once it's done, Okay, it looks like it's done. I can go back over. I can refresh my browser, which I'm doing off screen, but you can see it's sort of rotating now. It did not, in this case, did not alter that, uh, the key lime pie. But what it's really doing is if you had one that was, that was contorted, it would automatically reformat it to be uh, the appropriate size, proportionate. Uh, the only way to make it exactly this 105 and 84 and not to be distorted is to make sure all your images are the same every time um, and that's kind of tricky at times so just let the width be your guide you always want them to be the same width whether they're a little taller a little a little shorter is not as big a deal because it still looks good on the site uh, so by taking that out now the second part of this is if you have made this your cupcake of the month as you saw in one of the previous tutorials, we copied some code and put it on the widget. So I'll show you real quickly how we've put this on the widget. I'm clicking widget there. I need to go to home middle. Then go to my text. And again, if it's too distorted, all you have to do is simply take this out here. And leave you one little space between the end of the quotation and the bracket. Save that. Once it's saved, you can close it. You can go back to your website. We can go to the home page by clicking the header or the word home. And once we are there, you can see that our cupcake of the month is still exactly the size that we want it to be. 
So that's a little trick to, uh, if you need to change the, the, uh, the height, is, it makes it look too contorted um, and not proportionate, then that's one way to let the computer itself uh, do the calculations for you. As long as you leave the width as 105, it will adjust the height according to the original size of the photo. Hope that helps. Thanks.